It doesn't look big or flashy, but there, hidden at the heart of the Tesla Model 2, is a chip that promises to rewrite everything we know about autonomous driving. Elon Musk has nicknamed it the Monster, and that's no exaggeration. The AI5, a direct successor to the already advanced HW4, arrives with such a leap forward that what was once considered futuristic now seems outdated. With eight times the processing power, this little digital brain is beginning to show signs that cars won't just be smart, they'll be aware of their surroundings like never before. And this isn't science fiction talk, it's raw engineering. While many are still trying to understand what a self-driving chip is, Tesla has gone further. AI5 isn't just about calculation speed, it brings nine times more RAM than the HW4, increasing the capacity to store and interpret data in real time. Imagine sensors capturing pedestrians, traffic lights, signs, and speeding cars, all processed in milliseconds. And the craziest thing? The system's bandwidth also jumped to five times more, allowing an exchange of information between sensors, cameras, and processors like never before seen in a car. What really sets AI5 apart is that it's not a generic chip. No need to rely on off-the-shelf third-party parts. Tesla decided to code the hardware and software together, as if tailoring a brain specifically for driving. This solves one of the biggest problems faced by autonomous systems, the inefficiency of neural network processing. Now, algorithms like SoftMax, used for AI decision-making, execute with fewer steps and much faster. It's as if the car thinks with less effort and more precision. The AI5 architecture breaks with everything that came before. Until now, chips had hit an invisible ceiling. Memory. With the new system, this bottleneck no longer exists. We're talking about a chip capable of processing complex models with mixed precision. Something essential to ensure the car can adapt its behavior in unpredictable situations. If before the AI was stuck with too much information, now it adapts. And most intriguingly, all this power is being put into Tesla's cheapest car, the Model 2. This raises a seemingly simple question, but it's not. Why would Tesla pack so much intelligence into a $21,000 budget car? The answer lies in the company's new philosophy. Affordability doesn't mean mediocrity. The Model 2 will be the gateway to a generation of drivers who may never need to drive at all. And that changes everything. A self-driving car, with safety superior to that of a human being, at a price many people can afford, that could be a game changer. AI5 also redefines the role of the driver. They will no longer be the commander of the machine, but rather a watchful supervisor. Tesla wants you to trust the system, not as if you were blindly letting go of the steering wheel, but as if you realize that the technology is there to protect, not replace. And trust, as we know, is built with results. That's why Musk made a point of saying that AI5 is seconds up to 40 times more efficient in critical tests than previous systems. This means fewer errors, more safety, and more fluidity. Many people still turn up their noses at self-driving cars, and rightly so. But AI5 isn't just a chip. It's a new way of thinking about mobility. It's not about removing the human from the process, but about creating a co-pilot that never gets distracted, never sleeps, and never responds to cell phone messages. A co-pilot that is always alert, learning, updating, and above all, preventing accidents before they even happen. This completely changes the dynamic between car and driver. That's why the Model 2 with AI5 is generating so much buzz. It's not just another cheap electric car. It's a vehicle equipped with intelligence that surpasses human reflexes, that learns from billions of miles digitally driven, and that promises to drastically reduce traffic accidents. The question remains simple. Would you trust your life to this chip? Because if AI5 delivers everything it promises, perhaps Tesla's greatest revolution won't be in the motors, but in the car's brain.
Talking about a technological revolution is easy, but delivering a car with advanced artificial intelligence for just $21,000 seems almost impossible. Until you understand how Tesla is tackling the industry's most challenging equation, battery costs. Today, the most expensive component of any electric vehicle is its power source. To cut that cost in half without sacrificing performance, the company has gone all in on new chemistries. This is where the two boldest bets of the moment come in. Batteries, dot sodium ion, and those of aluminum ion, both with the potential to turn the game around. Sodium ion batteries are being tested as a direct alternative to traditional lithium ion cells. The biggest draw? Cost. While a lithium battery costs around $120 per kiloe, sodium batteries can drop to $60 or even $70, practically half that. This paves the way for a significant reduction in the car's final price. What's more, this type of battery doesn't use expensive metals like cobalt and nickel, which reduces dependence on unstable markets and also improves the pack's overall safety, since sodium is less thermally reactive. But it's with aluminum ion that things start to get even more interesting. This type of battery is attracting attention for a specific reason. The recharge time laboratory data indicates it can reach 80% charge in just 10 minutes, the same time it takes to fill up a gasoline car. This means no more anxious waiting at chargers, one of the biggest barriers for those considering switching to an electric car. The psychological and practical impact of such a fast recharge cannot be underestimated. In addition to speed, aluminum ion promises to deliver an energy density of up to 400 dollars dwaik, well above the 260 280 dollars of current lithium cells. This makes it possible to build smaller, lighter, and cheaper batteries without sacrificing range. This not only reduces production costs, but also improves overall vehicle performance. And in a market where every gram counts, this is gold. The Model 2 doesn't need to be the most powerful car, but it does need to be the most cost-effective, and everything indicates that it will be. Of course, for now, both technologies are still in advanced testing phases, but the mere fact that Tesla is considering two viable alternative routes already shows how willing the company is to break the mold. No traditional automaker is attempting to change so much in such a short time. And this technical boldness, combined with the production scale Tesla already dominates, could be what finally makes electric cars truly accessible to the entire world. Now, if the battery math really adds up, and all indications are that it does, the cost of the pack would drop to less than $5,000. Combine this with other reductions on the assembly line, and you understand how the Model 2 can, in fact, cost $21,000 without being a lame entry-level car. This isn't just about cutting costs. It's about completely rethinking how a car can be designed from the ground up to be both affordable and advanced. A proposal that, until now, has only existed on paper. With a fast, cheap, and safe battery, the model is no longer just a viable option and becomes a direct competitor to popular combustion-powered cars such as the Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic. And this changes the focus of the competition. It's no longer about beating other electric car makers. It's about attacking the heart of the global automotive market. Popular cars that sell millions a year and that never imagined facing an electric rival with comparable price and practicality. The strategy is aggressive, no doubt. But that's exactly what makes the Model 2 so threatening to the traditional industry. It doesn't just want to exist alongside others, it wants to replace them. And by offering an electric car with gasoline price and refill time equal to refueling, Tesla is cutting the last ties that still bind people to the old world of combustion engines. With the technology ready, all that's left is to scale it. And Tesla already has a plan for that. While most automakers still struggle with traditional factories and linear assembly lines, Tesla is playing a different game. Model 2 production won't just be a scaled-down version of what they already do with the Model 3 or Model Y. It will be reinvented from the ground up. 
The key to this new approach is called Giga Casting, a technique that replaces hundreds of welded parts with a single high-pressure aluminum casting. In the rear chassis alone, Tesla managed to eliminate up to 400 parts using this method. The impact of this on the assembly line is gigantic. With fewer parts, there are fewer robots, fewer steps, and less assembly time. The car becomes literally simpler to build. And this isn't just about efficiency, it's about speed and cost. The production time for a traditional car is around 30 hours. Tesla is aiming for less than half that with the Model 2. And this time, savings translates into money savings. For a car that already starts from a cheaper design, this detail could be what defines the model's global success. But it's not just technical aspects that Tesla wants to save on. The choice of manufacturing locations for the Model 2 was made with surgical precision. Giga Factory Mexico will be a major contributor to production. And this is no coincidence. The location near the U.S. reduces logistics costs by up to 20% compared to exports from China. And labor costs there are around $5 per hour, a fraction of the wages paid on American soil. This creates a brutal advantage in the final cost of production. At the same time, the Giga Factory Berlementers the scene with another type of trump card, tax incentives. In Europe, many countries offer direct subsidies of between $4,000 and $6,000 to those who buy a locally manufactured electric car. In other words, a European Model 2 would already start with a much more attractive hidden price, making it even more competitive against rivals from Volkswagen, Renault, and Stellantis. This combination of strategic location and incentives is a frontal attack on the old continent's automotive industry. Tesla also plans to further automate the process with state-of-the-art robots, artificial intelligence applied to production, and modular platforms. While traditional automakers spend up to $2 billion to reconfigure an entire plant for each new model, Tesla is betting on a modular model, which can be adapted with half of that cost. This means faster innovation cycles and factories that are more resilient to design or demand changes. With factories adjusted and costs minimized, the next step is volume. And the numbers are ambitious. Elon Musk projects a production of 1. 5 million Model 2 units per year. By 2027, for comparison, this number surpasses the peak production of the legendary Volkswagen Golf for decades the best-selling car in Europe. If this target is achieved, the Model 2 will not only be a success, it will be an industrial phenomenon. This mass production rate is only possible because Tesla understood that there's no point in making a good car if it can't be produced quickly and in large quantities. That's why the Mexican factory will be entirely designed around the Model 2, not the other way around. The plant doesn't fit the car. The car is designed from the ground up to be produced there, with every step optimized even before the first prototype comes to life. This production-centric design philosophy isn't common in the industry. Typically, a car is designed by engineers and designers, and only then do factory specialists figure out how to assemble it at scale. Tesla does the opposite. It starts with the process, then adapts the product. And this kind of thinking could be precisely what leaves competitors five or even seven years behind. Because having a good streetcar isn't enough. You need to be able to deliver it cheaply, quickly, and in massive volumes. All this effort to optimize production would have little impact if the final product lacked visual and functional appeal. And that's precisely where the Model 2 surprises even more. Tesla doesn't just want to launch a cheap car, it wants to launch a desirable one. That's why the Model 2's design follows the brand's well-known minimalist style, but with a twist adapted to the most competitive markets on the planet. Two meters long and 1.8 meters wide, it's compact enough for the tight streets of Europe and Asia, but still comfortable for everyday American urban life. This size puts the Model 2 in direct competition with heavyweights like the Volkswagen ID. 3 and the Toyota Yaris, 
two of the biggest successes in the compact segment. But where these competitors try to balance price and quality, the Model 2 aims to deliver everything at once. Price, performance, range, and style. The difference starts with aerodynamics. Tesla is aiming for a drag coefficient below 0.23, which is incredibly efficient for a car in this category. This means the car cuts through the air with less resistance, expending less energy to move, and this directly impacts range. The choice of a hatchback isn't random. This format offers more interior space in a shorter overall length, which appeals to those who need versatility without sacrificing maneuverability. Furthermore, luggage space tends to be optimized, making the car ideal for those living in large urban centers. And even with its focus on value for money, the Model 2 maintains key elements of Tesla's visual identity. Sharp headlights, clean surfaces, recessed door handles, and a look that conveys technology without seeming overdone. Another point that draws attention is the promise to maintain the simple but connected interior. The control center will be based on a single touchscreen, as in current models, and will likely feature a sound system, 5G connectivity, and native integration with navigation, entertainment, and remote update services. Minimalism isn't just aesthetic, it's functional. Fewer buttons mean fewer parts, fewer failures, and lower maintenance costs. Everything is designed to last longer, cost less, and operate more intuitively. And even though it's an entry-level car, the Model 2 is expected to offer a version with the new AI5 on board, enabling the use of FSD, the company's most advanced autonomous driving system. This alone raises the bar for the category. After all, we're talking about a compact car that can, theoretically, drive itself in most urban and highway situations, a distinction no other car in this price range has ever offered. The combination of efficient design and onboard intelligence creates a new kind of automobile, where form and function come together to simplify life. Tesla is also expected to explore new interface solutions. Rumors suggest the possible introduction of a retractable steering wheel or even gesture controls, especially in versions equipped with FSD. It's still too early to know what will be official, but the fact that the company is testing these ideas shows how the Model 2 is more than just a budget car. It's a laboratory for innovation. What's well received here could very well spread across the entire lineup in the future. This flexible approach, which balances a modern look, a functional interior, and aggressive aerodynamics, positions the Model 2 as a real threat to traditional compacts. It doesn't just want to compete, it wants to make current urban automotive design concepts obsolete. And all this without sacrificing the comfort, connectivity, and aesthetics that modern consumers demand, even at more affordable price points. It's this set of decisions that transforms the Model 2 into something more than just an affordable product. It represents Tesla's attempt to redesign the global city car.